The two suspects in last weekend's deadly mass shooting in Whitehaven posted bond tonight and they'll await their trials at home and not in the Shelby County Jail. Good evening, I'm Joe Birch. I'm Joy Redmond. Memphis police say 11 people were shot early Sunday morning outside the live lounge on Shelby Drive. One victim died, four others are in critical condition. And so Action News 5's Joyce Peterson is live now to explain why the judge lowered the bond for the accused gunman from $800,000 down to just twenty-five grand. Joyce? Yeah, Joe and Joy, that's a huge difference, right? Defense attorney Leslie Ballin, who is one half of the Mid-South's famous Dream Team, he showed General Sessions criminal court judge Karen Massey new cell phone video today in the courtroom. And that video shows that Ballin's client was not the first one to start shooting at the club. This blue car right here. Yes. yes. And that's the Mercury. General Sessions criminal court judge Karen Massey watching and re-watching new cell phone video entered into evidence Thursday by defense attorney Leslie Ballin. His client, 21-year-old Ladarius Marion, charged with second-degree murder and five counts attempted second-degree murder. Memphis police say he fired into a Mercury Milan outside the live lounge on Shelby Drive in Whitehaven just after midnight Sunday morning, killing one man and injuring five others. That's your client returning. Fire. But the video showed someone else opened fire first. Attorney Ballin telling the judge his client likely acted in self-defense. Ballin requested Marion's original $800,000 bond be lowered to $75,000 because Marion has no criminal record, served in the Tennessee National Guard, and recently lost both parents to illness. His stepmother testified he'll live with her when released from the Shelby County Jail. She's concerned about her stepson. Um, Hopefully they will be able to post bail and uh, we be able to defend this case with him living at home opposed to in jail at 201. Marion is also unemployed and under Shelby County's new bail system, financial status comes into play. Judge Massey granted an even lower bond than Attorney Ballin requested. The defendant does not have a record as in cooperating uh, with the authorities. I'm going to set the bond at 25000 While Marion is out on a $25,000 bond, the second suspect, 23-year-old Julius Freeman, confessed to handing Marion the gun and driving the car. He faces multiple counts, including facilitation of second-degree murder. His bond, $150,000. His father testifying the entire family will pitch in to pay it. The new video changing his legal strategy, too. The information that was given to us originally is not a full picture of what took place. And once they review it, we all talk about what, needs, what the next step needs to be. All right, Memphis police are still looking for more suspects. There were men in a white sedan who fired the first shots into the club. And then one suspect in that Mercury Milan also fired a weapon. He wound up getting killed that night. Marion and Freeman were in a dark charger and fired shots after they got into an argument with the men in the Mercury. And again, 11 people in all were shot in the incident. Live outside 201 Poplar tonight, I'm Joyce Peterson, Action News 5.